the restaurant was available for rent within the hotel and I love the room. As a clientele, we have everybody from Sydney that you could imagine. I'd become interested in French food when I was a child because I read a lot and I had a couple of books which I sort of brought along here. Fiendbush was one that introduced me to the history of French cooking. And then Waverley Root wrote another book in 1958 about the nature of French food. Um, so those two books were very influential and actually got me interested in French cooking intellectually. I think that for all chefs, it doesn't matter where they are, for good chefs, the main inspiration is the produce anyway. So for us, we're celebrating in the restaurant. You might see in the restaurant now photos of truffles and things around on the line. This is the first year when we've really had a good crop of Australian truffles. Okay, the visuals of contemporary food derive directly from Japanese food preparation and, and display. We have a dish down there which really perfectly encompasses this, okay, which is the, the matelot of seafood. We've got barramundi, and barramundi's got a particular dirty flavour that just picks up on red wines really fantastically. We've got squid, Hawkesbury River, and we've also got uh, a large yabby, you know, a large lobster. OK, so we're just cooking the barramundi in clarified butter and we'll just brown that until it's, only, until it's just cooked. So we're, we're going to put it in the oven now just to finish off the cooking so the rest of the barramundi will heat through and the lobster will be heated through. OK. We have this sauce. The amatolot is a red wine fish stew of a Burgundian origin, but it's basically fish stewed in red wine. So we've just garnished it with fresh chervil, both for the flavour and for the colour, to bring out the colours on the plate. The dish is uh, delicious and is a variety of textures, but really relating back to the original dish. And so it has, not only is it just celebrating the local fish, but also it's part of the history of cooking. And I've been there for three years now, with the same creative staff involved in the kitchen. So Manu's been with me three years now. And we have the most fabulous relationship and the restaurant has now reached the top ranks of restaurants in Sydney and is continuing to develop. I mean, the wonderful thing about art, and cooking is an art, food is an art, gastronomy is an art, the wonderful thing is that there are always new experiences that are going to replace the old ones. So that's why one of the reasons why it's so gratifying to be involved in it.